What's up, you guys? What is up? First of all, I got to say a special happy anniversary to my first wigs. They have been around for four years, okay? Time goes by. Like, seriously, time flies by. This company is owned and ran sister company to RPGshow.com. You guys already know how I feel about them. They got the bombest wigs. And listen, so this is my first wig. If you are a newbie to wigs, you have never worn a wig, then my first wigs does make it a lot simpler for you. But if you think and feel and know for a fact that you can venture you're out then check out RPG show too but definitely check out my first wigs because they have some amazing units on there plus their lace be melting in your skin honey you will not even know you got a wig on so happy anniversary I am really happy to say that I have been on this four-year journey with them so I am pleased to introduce this Bob that we about to rock right now like we about to rock this Bob oh you saw my try Okay, y'all already know how I feel about the bobs, but I like them now. I do like them, or how I felt, felt, the word is felt, past tense. They have worn me down, you know what I'm saying? Nothing ever wears me down, but that bobs, those bobs, they sure did. My first wig. First of all, your wig will come in one of these standard boxes. These are really sturdy boxes. Like, seriously, I'm telling you guys, I told y'all before, like, these are strong. I swear, I think they're made out of wood and stuff. Like, you could probably, like, build some tables with these if you wanted to. Like, you could collect them and do some arts and crafts. On the back, it has their social media handle which is um, their Instagram, their YouTube, and their actual website. You also get one of these pouches, which is great for carrying makeups. You carry your feminine products in them and stuff like that. I don't have to do that no more, but you know what I'm saying? If you got to, then you could use these. But inside of this comes a pack of bobby pins, a rat tail comb, uh, an elastic band. So if you want that wig super duper tight to where it's sucking out the life of your head, then girl, here you go. But trust me, don't put it too tight because I have had that happen to me on several occasions. And let me tell you, I will take a scissor real quick and slip it through the back and cut the elastic. Two of these clips, which are really great for when you're styling your wig. I love them. I'm, I got some on standby. You get one of their instructions, okay? The instruction booklets on how to style your wig. Who is that? Who's that girl? That's me. That's old me. Here's new me. Me and my girl Ivy. Yes, hunties. Yes. I love Ivy. Your wig is going to come in one of these cute little bags, okay? Now, I already went ahead and took the liberty of bleaching the knots on this puppy, okay? And washing and styling her. She is a gorgeous wig. Um, I think it's like 12 or 14 inches. I believe it's like 14. I'll definitely put the specs below for this particular unit. The hair is a light yakky hair texture, a yakky hair texture. This is the first bob that I've had that is colored and is yakky texture. I'm loving it, okay? Let me tell y'all, I put on my mannequin head to dry, just like, to air dry because I don't blow dry them because I ain't got time for all of that and it dried straight like it dried so nicely and all I did to make it flow like this is first I was going to use the flat iron because I did I used the flat iron as I was flat ironing down I was combing it so it helped the hair to flow but if you just use the flat iron it's just going to flatten the hair plus I hot combed the front and pressed it out a little bit and this thing comes with um, an elastic band already sewn into it plus it has a 13 by 6 inch parting very transparent Swiss lace like it's very transparent this is like a light brown it just melts in your skin girl like you will forget you had on a wig girl okay so you get the two combs in the front then you also get the comb in the nape and the adjustable straps in the back plus you get their infamous adjustable straps I love the excuse me the elastic band I love this because if you don't know how to sew one on you have one already and these are great because they don't come off, but for one, you can adjust the size. Just like a bra hook, you can adjust the size. And you can also make it tight in the back. But then, if you still feel like you really want to suffocate your brain, you can definitely put this one in. So, you guys, I'm excited. I'm excited. We gonna, I'm going to cut the back off, and then we're going to just get into this. But in the meantime, in between time, you can check out my first wig. I will post their information down below for you guys. They always got a sale and then it's their anniversary. So happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Woo-woo. Woo-woo. Happy anniversary. I wanted to tell you guys something before. Um, 
I started into the video. So you know how you get a lace wig and in the nape area, it'll be like that little flap. It's just a little flap. So if you even try to put it up in a bun, if it was like a lace front, you still have like this little flap right here in the back. So it's not like going straight across, which if it was going straight across, it would make it a lot easier. I cannot stand those little flaps in the back. I hate them because it makes a little bit, it makes it a little bit more challenging. So with my first wigs, they don't have those flaps in the back. You can just cut it straight across. This makes makes it so much easier because even though this is a 13 by 6 lace frontal you can still put this up in a ponytail or a bun or you know a pullback style now this one in particular I wouldn't do because it's a little bit short for me but I like the fact that my first wig and RPG shows their wigs go straight across in the nape area so that way you don't have that little flap that little flap doesn't even connect to anything it just like lays there and it drives me crazy so I'm glad that theirs does not come with with those little flappity flaps. If you guys know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. So let's get into styling her, okay? Okay, you guys, let's just get into this. As you see, I just sprayed my hair in four braids this time. It doesn't really matter how you have a braid. I mean, it does matter, but I just put it in four braids because I'm gonna do a braid wig video in a few days after this video. But I do like it in four braids. It just allows it just to lay a little bit flatter. But anyway, get yourself a pair of scissors, girl. Some people like to use like an eyebrow trimmer to cut the lace off. Some people like to use like a really big pair of scissors to cut it off. I, me, personally, I prefer the smaller pairs. You know, they're curved and I make my own little dips and curves in the lace. But you know, to each his own whichever you feel comfortable with then just do that try not to cut too close to the hairline where the hairs are at because if you do eventually they will fall out then you have to make yourself a new little bench of baby hairs or you know whatever but try not to get too close and so when it's time and you're ready get yourself that rat tail comb that my first wig sent to you and make you some baby hairs or wispy hairs I'm gonna use the Got To Be Glam Force Ultra Hold 48 Hour Hold Hairspray to adhere my wig. You guys know how much I love this stuff. I love it. You can get it at Ulta.com or you can go in store and get it. It's $4.99 when it's on sale and $5.64 when it's not on sale. Yes, I do know the price, okay? And you just wanna spritz that behind the baby hairs or the wispy hairs onto directly onto the lace. You can also spray it underneath. Um, sometimes I do both, sometimes I don't. But then when you're ready, you can get your blow dryer out and your rat tail comb and just press into the lace if you don't have a blow dryer then what I would highly suggest is spritzing that same exact hairspray in little sections don't spray all the way across but just spritz probably like about three inches and let it dry a little bit pressing it in and then just move on the hairspray does dry really quick but make sure you get all the way by the corner of your ear so that way that also lays flat and holds down and just repeat it on the opposite side like I'm doing here now as you guys see I did spray the hairspray behind the hair it's not going to get onto the hair but if it does no big deal I prefer to use the hairspray versus um, any type of gel or glue even though I do have gel and I do have the glue the hairspray works good for me it holds for a couple of days and that's good enough for me if you wanted to hold for like more like about a week you can definitely tie it down at night and you may need to spritz just a little bit on the sideburn hairs as you see me brushing right here but other than that the hairspray works really well and if you want to customize those baby hairs or wispy hairs then make sure that you cut them a little bit shorter you really don't want them hanging down like a bang in front of your forehead but if you do girl go for it like I say to each his own it's up to you how you wear your wig okay so I'm just going to shorten mine a little bit you don't really need a lot of baby hairs but it's your preference and as far as sideburn hairs go I just really do prefer them and the reason why I'm spraying the hairspray directly on the toothbrush is that way I don't have a lot of build-up product on the actual lace frontal wig and that is how I sculpt my baby hairs or wispy hairs, whatever you want to call them. I sculpt them with a toothbrush and I just spritz some of the hairspray onto it. And it works out great. So we're going to get to styling this. I'll come back to the baby hairs or the wispy hairs after. But this hair is like really pretty. Unfortunately, I did put some of those flat iron crimps on the side. You can use a hot comb to get them out. But I'm going to be using some of my first wigs. Uh, flyaway tamer you can purchase this on the website she is rather cute I really do like this wig you know I think like the bobs had to grow on me I really do but I, for this one I really like it I like the texture a lot the yakky hair is really cute and the color is amazing
Okay, honeys. Okay. So, all done in style. Look, I'm saying, though, look at the edges. Girl. Crisp. Crisp. This look, look, this look good. I like the flow of this yakky hair texture. Like, OMG. You can get it in another texture as well. But I just opted for this texture because I've never done like a yakky bob. You know what I'm saying? It's always like a silky. And I did do one yakky bob and it was really actually nice, but only one and it was just a dark color. And so for this particular one, I wanted to do it in yakky. And so it does come like that. And this texture is really nice. It flows just so nicely. Like, look at that. But also, look at the lace on it. Like, the lace is very durable. It's damn near transparent. You can bleach the knots if you want to. I would suggest that if you want it to look as natural as possible. You really don't have to wear any wig caps with your wigs. I wish I would have pulled it down just a little bit further. But, you know, it bleaches so nicely. But it already bleached too. But I just wanted to do my own spin on it. And then I just pre-plucked it a little bit. Just a little bit. And this is... This is like really nice. You get so much parting. Like my part is all the way back here. Plus it can still go back further. I think it can go back to probably like about this. Uh, it's like right here where it end, like down here, back here. Um, but you get a lot of parting for this 13 by 6. Now, you know, I don't really do the bobs like that, but I have become very, you know, I fancy them now somewhat and the texture like the texture is so pretty I will put all of the specs below for you guys for this unit right here happy anniversary my first wig make sure you shout them out check their YouTube channel the Instagram they be always having like some deals going on plus you know what I'm saying when you get a wig from them you girl you know you're gonna be late to the gods this color look really nice on my skin okay I likes it I do I likes it a lot Hello. Very nice. Very, very nice. So on that note, all the information will be down below. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, share it with your whole entire family girls. Yes, hunties, do that. Do that. I love you and I'll see you guys on a soon to come video.